Now to the late breaking developments regarding South Carolina's voter ID law. It's been upheld. Another top story tonight, a three-judge panel in Washington has upheld our state's voter ID law. The voter ID law has been upheld and is set to go in effect at the first of the year. Well, now to a ruling being watched around the country. Today, South Carolina's controversial voter ID law was upheld by a district South court. South Carolina's voter ID law does not discriminate against minority voters. That's the unanimous ruling by three federal judges. State Attorney General Alan Wilson praising the decision. He says, quote, the fact remains voter ID laws do not discriminate or disenfranchise. They ensure integrity at the ballot box. Court, in a 3-0 opinion, unanimously pre-clears it. You feel vindicated, so we're very happy about that. So voters in the next year will be required to present a South Carolina driver's license or a state photo ID card, a free photo voter ID card, a passport or military ID to vote. If you can't, you can still vote under a reasonable impediment provision. No other state that I'm aware of offers anything that is that extensive as in a protection to protect the integrity of someone's right to vote. Every single person they have put up as someone that they think would fall prey or be a victim of this law, when you sit down and you talk to that victim, that alleged victim, or you talk to the person holding them out as a victim, you find out that they actually weren't going to be prevented from getting a, um, from casting a ballot. Attorney General Alan Wilson said in states where voter ID laws like South Carolina's have been approved, well, they've seen t voter turnout increase. Attorney General knows that this will take a lot of voter education, which is why they will get the election commission involved to make sure that voters understand the law after the first First of the year. from now, it will go into effect. It does not apply in this in the 2012 election. In addition to South Carolina, 16 other states across the country have some form of voter ID law, which requires voters to present a valid photo ID at the polls.